when it comes to social media with a business, and if a huge part of it is that you sell something on social media or you're highly active on social media, you're going to get a lot of unsolicited advice. And it's a beautiful gift, but it can also be overwhelming. And so you have to know how to do this dance very, very well. And holding boundaries is going to be a key part of that, knowing how to take the nuggets out of that unsolicited advice and not feel like it's a negative slight at you. But for those that are negative slights at you, and this will transition us into the next part, which is the difference between hate speech and people providing their opinions or their feedback or their unsolicited advice. Like you have to be un- willing to navigate through and ask yourself those questions and understand those different layers, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you're not quite good at differentiating them right now, there are great tools. ChatGPT is a phenomenal one. You can copy and paste a comment or, uh, you know, if you get a comment or an email or something or even what someone said if you're able to remember it and share it and just ask your gpt hey if someone said this to me uh, without any context you know help me understand would this be considered uh, based on inflection and you know, maybe they won't maybe it won't be full inflection and tone because that's a big aspect of it relative mm-hmm. to just text um, but you know if you could as much as you can paint the picture as possible and share the experience and share what's been received back just like, hey, is this hate speech considerably, or is this, you know, uh, unsolicited advice or constructive criticism? Or, you know, there are tools to help us understand, especially in this beginning stages, because things can feel like a person. I mean, a lot of if, if we allow it, a lot of things can feel like a personal slight. We can mm-hmm. take everything personally if we if we want to, um, and to some degree, that puts us into that victim mentality, and then that ends up really putting us down a negative spiral that is not helpful yeah. and so that's why we're bringing up these tools of like you know how to how to differentiate how to set your boundaries how to be assertive while also being loving because being loving doesn't just mean roll over yeah. you know that's, nope. that's a huge huge <laughs> misunderstanding this is not just okay i'm loving and i'll, I'll let everyone you know stomp on me no that is not that's not loving because that's not loving to yourself right so Loving is a two-way street. It's to you and to those around you. And so when we have these different tools to help us differentiate and understand, then it's important. And then we can then take the next step. If it is hate speech, then we can then know what we need to do to uphold our boundaries. And when we start to communicate what those boundaries are, that's actually a very, very good thing because it creates the community that you desire to experience and the life that you desire to experience. And it's not coming from an ego or a virtue signaling standpoint, but it's a, a way to express where you're at. Because most people are doing things because they just don't know what the boundaries haven't been clearly communicated yeah. in the first place. And so oftentimes it's just a, a, a misunderstanding. Yes, They're sharing something because there wasn't something in place to say that they could or couldn't or should or shouldn't. Mm-hmm. And so... Like kind of like our bulldog who constantly pushes the boundaries if we right. if we don't if we don't you know set them and then once we do and we reinforce them and we continue that well then everything is good and if we lax on it trust me I have he's very very cute and I've totally you know sometimes I'll, I'll let something go and then the next time he'll push it and then it's like oh that's on. Awesome.